Now that you've learned how to build workflows, it's time to put them to use. There are many places in Plant an App that can execute workflows, such as APIs, scheduled jobs, or buttons. Let's continue our example with sending PDF codes to potential leads. So let's add a button to the listing by accessing the configuration from the gear icon in the top right corner. Notice how all the columns that you saw on the screen are fully customizable from here. Same goes for the Edit and Delete buttons. Let's create a new one by clicking on the Add Item button and giving it a meaningful name. Next, we can define the business logic that this button will run. This is done via Actions. And you'll notice that they are the same actions that we used when building the workflow. Plant an app also generated a new action for the workflow that we've just created. And this is how we will be able to execute it in this context. We'll have to provide values for the two input parameters that we define in the workflow. We use a token to pass the ID of the lead. For the plan, we can just hard code it to an ID that represents the enterprise plan in our case. Finally, let's capture the date in a new token. Remember that we also want to save this date in a property of the lead. Luckily, the system also generated actions to operate with leads. In our case, since we only want to update one property, we can use the partial update action. Same as before, we are going to use a token to get the lead ID. And then pass the date token that we've just created as the code date property of the lead. Let's also display a message to the users informing that the code was sent successfully. And another action to refresh the listing. What we've done here so far is creating an inline workflow that's attached to the button click event. Note that inline workflows cannot be accessed from other places. We are now ready to save our work and see the results. Click on the send code button to trigger the workflow for the first lead and display a confirmation message. Now go back to the application builder and explore executing workflows from APIs, scheduled jobs, or even from other workflows.